you're going to be playing apprentice today. Yeah. You know yeah, that? You're going to be learning some new skills like we spoke yeah. about yesterday. Touching here and here, but not quite on the edge. Yeah. Cut, weld, test fit, test fit, weld again, cut. Ah, uh, can friggin' weld. Yeah, boy. Morning. Uh, it's seven o'clock in the morning. I'm just walking into the shed. Ashton's already here, ready to go. Look how sad the black truck's looking on her little cheese cutters. Now, this is the problem with having teenage boys, right? Nothing is yours anymore. So when I go into my cupboard to try and find a shirt or something, it's missing, or they rock up every day. I'm like, what are you wearing? They're like, wearing my stuff. And now they're taking my stuff. What's the plan, homie? So, today the... So today the plan is we're gonna get all, Too all many the coffees. engine pipe work um, into the car and we're gonna yep. get it ready for startup and making a little bit of boost and short all the good things that you like out of an engine. You're gonna be playing apprentice today. Yeah. You know yeah. that? You're going to be learning some new skills like we spoke yeah. about yesterday. So today, I've got Pedro, one of the boys here from Patriot In. Morning, mate. How you going? Don't be nervous. No, Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> camera. Pedro's our resident fabricator here up at the race shed. So he's doing all the fabrication stuff for us. You've kind of just been doing bits and pieces. Yes. Yeah? Yep. But now, today, you're going to teach this kid Got how to, to do... Got to teach young apprentice here. We're yep. going to do these sneaky little tight bend lobster backs out of the turbo around here. And we're going to put a... Air, air boxy bit up here. Air boxy bit is going up the top here. Yeah. So Pedro's actually done a little bit of work on this last week. Yeah. You can see the turbo inlet normally on a VDJ runs right around the back of the engine mount and comes up the top because you've got, obviously you've got an air box on that side. So the plumbing normally runs all the way around there, yeah. does it not? Yep, up there and across the top. But obviously for this truck, we've got no room to put an air box in. They're gonna lobster back all of this pipe work around here. We're gonna put a heat shield on the turbo come up, poke it through here somewhere-ish, yep. and get it all on, yeah? yeah? And then snorkely bit up here. How do you think you're gonna go teaching Ash? Here we are. He yeah? seems keen. If he's keen, it's all good. That's the trouble nowadays. Yep. Boys aren't keen, but he's keen as, so yeah. I reckon it's gonna be good. Now, I've been saying all the way through this episode that we're using all the skills from Patriot Campers that we have here. Everybody's gonna have their little part in teaching the boys how to build the truck, but I think that this one's gonna be a good one for him. Yeah. And this is one he's really yeah. excited about. Yeah. yeah. No, so good luck. Good. Don't take any shit from him either, eh? All right. Remember, Sweet. he's here on work experience. Yep. So treat him like any other apprentice. Okay. Give him all the left-hand screwdrivers. Make him do no, the I bin know run. One. I know that one. Oh, you know that one. <laughs> and especially being a lefty. So I think, boys, you'll probably start with the plenum. Yep. Finish up um, all the lobster back stuff. Yep. Down to the cooler. And then off this bit, down over into another one over here. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you to it. Boys, good luck. All right. Cheers. See you. Day two, and we got Pedro now, so we're going to do a lot of um, welding and tigging and all that nice things. But so the suspension, it works pretty well. So we're going to sort all that out once all the weights in, with all the guards and tube work and front bar and winches and all that. Then we'll see how that goes and make up some custom coils. But the rear end works really well. So we're, so we're going to leave it how it is. We're going to get it running. Then we're going to work on the suspension. Well, just drew the, that's just a 90 of you to One. simulate your pipe, you know what I mean? Yep. And the 15 mil, you just go out from the inside edge here. Yep. So that gives you that clearance there to the air factor, sort of. Yeah, there's only like three mil in there. Yeah. To like 15. Mm. It's a bit tricky, but yeah. we got it in there. Your first one, which is like that angle there, when you come down, you turn it round, get your light. Like, 15 mil at the back here, line that up and then trace it around so that just gets turned yeah, that's awesome. that way and then back that way and back that way yeah, which cool. gives us all that which is all perfect so every time you turn it over here you scratch that on there and then you put your bit on here 
scratch around it and then carry on and the next one will be the other way. can actually buy them pieces already made, yeah. but showing you how to actually make them by hand, mm. it'll sink in your head a lot better. Yeah, for sure. If anyone can go to a shop, buy bits, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yep. You put that on there, and then just to make sure that ends up dead flat. Touching here and here, but not right on the edge. Yeah. you just got to be gentle. It doesn't need much. Just to Shiny all the way around. Go yeah, watch it here. Yeah. You ready? Yep. This is you. For his first go, yeah. It's pretty acceptable. You can't get spot on first time round. Use this piece of paper that lines up with lines that you draw across from each other and then once you cut out this you can see the paper it's kind of curved around so you then turn this around and then you can cut it kind of like that and then it you just keep on going down so it kind of like like zigzags down the pipe. Too bad of a cut. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's for me. Like, you wouldn't need your cut the less. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, unless you have to fire. Less how you got to level it up. Yeah, because yeah. this, this one's really thin. Yeah, but we can still use that. It's not really going to matter. But yeah, no, no gabby bits, but it'll be fine. Yeah. But yeah, no, you get you get it on point, which is good. Group them on there like that, and then we can see that's probably about as tight as we can go. Yeah, then and you kind of just and then chop we'll have, this. Yeah, there and then, then we'll have to go yeah, here, yeah. yeah, and then put probably about that many more along yeah. out about here. Basically, you just sort of Hold it with your pinky so it's all like, you know what I mean? Like flush at the back here and whatever. And the whooshy finger. Oh, you know this hole. So there's a center line on there, but I want to creep this bend like down a bit as we're coming out. So I'm just moving it just around the bee stick off that line. Mm -hmm. So then it will, will point down the rivet. Yep. Turn your back on. And we'll see if I can do a well this morning. The well is going on. It's funny how the best looking piece of Thought pipe work is the one in, at the bottom of the engine that you'll never see ever again. So that's the original bit which does mount kind of there, so it goes around the back and then up here and then obviously over the top of the engine. So instead of that we're just kind of making a makeshift version of just turning it around and running it up kind yeah. of yeah so instead of going forward and up it's going backward and up you just got to make it up as you go there's no real set way for this so we're just going in with about there yeah just make it up as you go custom pipe working is the most beautiful part of this car apart from everything because she's uh, cause she's amazing from every angle <laughs> What 
I love more than lobster backpiping? Nothing. After a lengthy process of cut, weld, test fit, test fit, weld again, cut, over and over again, we've got this funky looking piece of pipe work in there. It's coming around off the turbo and down the side. And then this is the final test fit. And then after that, Pedro is going to tack the whole thing up and then I'm going to TIG weld the whole thing. So lucky this is at the bottom of the engine. Bay, so no one gets to see my bad welds, but it, it is also kind of sad because it looks gorgeous. It is beautiful. Yep. And then that'll bring us out to your ranch, awesome. which will go to the airbox yeah, let's see. when it turns up. Awesome. Are you nervous, Ash? No, a little bit. <laughs> but I'm, I'm excited. I'm just going to do it. Right, wherever you're comfy, come out this way a bit so the welders. But you just got to start, hang around till you get the, the puddle, and you just got to go like and just keep on just slow ass. But you got to try and keep your keep that like yeah you know, 90 to the join. Yeah, I'll go around. Yes, yeah. so just start wherever you want to go around a little bit, get comfy, and then right. move your pipe as much as you like, and don't forget to turn your gas on when you start. Yeah. It's backwards to me. Everything's backwards. <laughs> Funny. Come on, you lefties. Oh, what did I tell you? <laughs> it's all here and it's all backwards. That's right. That's hard to like, to like watch how the puddle's going but also watch like where you're going yeah you've, you've sort of got to you've got to watch on the, the side you're coming like to see that line yeah yeah because you're a money dude that way same thing you've, you've still got to start that way but yeah. you've just got to hang around and get your puddle yeah yeah because you're going right there but see you've, you've dropped down you've yeah missed, you've missed that bit yeah exactly so, Yeah, probably just got to slow down a little bit there. You're yep. getting a little bit quick, yep. just to get a little bit. But it's on point. Like you've got the freaking goldy colour and everything going. Once you have the um the um, puddle going, it kind of just yeah. You just got, that's when when you're tacking, you just you only getting that little tack to get the puddle. Yep. But you've got to just start, hang around till you get your puddle going, and, and hold, then and just the go puddle. like slow. You probably want that probably you tip three mil off the weld or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because if you Turn the amps up to get more heat. It just it'll turn to crap. Like your oh, weld will go shitty. You got to have yep. go slow to get your pretty welds that you want. You're not going to get mint at it yeah. on your first thing. Yeah. And you're understanding that, which is good, because yeah. most young people just want to do the minter straight up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. well, start here, work your way up, and yeah, let's give it a go. It's all about the training, you know. I teach my boy good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, if you're first time, man, that's yeah, cool. that's cool. You know, he's happy because he's showing you. Like yeah. that, that's, that's right. So me and Pedro have just knocked up this top intercooler pipe. Once again, lobster back, but I'm gonna weld it up. This is gonna be the one that everyone sees because it's right on top of the engine, so I gotta make sure I do this run really well.
Uh, can friggin' weld. Yeah, boy. Have you welded this one all up on your own? Yeah. Third drive? Yeah. You done the whole lot? Yep. See the improvement already, eh? Right. Like, put it this way, Justin. He hasn't stopped for lunch. He's eager to weld that one up. He loves to back in stainless, dude. That's for me, like. First go, that's on the point. Right. Tricky part. I'm right hand and he's left hand. I set up right again. He goes, I can't. Yeah. I've got it up flip, the other flip way. Flip it the other way. Yeah. Well, it's all about getting comfy, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I said. Just make sure you're Ask comfy and everything. But um, you got to be happy with that. I can't believe it. Is there yeah. anything you yeah, can't no. do? He hey? Picked it up really good. Like I'm quite surprised. Oh my god. If you've been watching Patriot games for the past five seasons and you've seen the way that these guys have evolved yeah, and it's all about having good good yeah, teachers no, around them, like, good mentors. He's, on, he's just loving it. Like, yeah. Proud he's dad moment is not the words to describe so. that. Like, really you know, to see your son go from wiping his ass yeah, it is. to doing exactly, this. That's, 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 that's the thing. Yeah. There's so many dudes. So just, you know, unfriggin' so start believable. Start no. Amazing. But there's not much that these two can't do. Anything you throw at them, they just they get the job done. But now, like Pedro said, you know, he's working through his lunch break. Doesn't care now. He's in the zone. He's learning a new skill. Wait till you see this thing come together. And what's even more exciting is even after it's finished, where it will go in the future with the skills that he's learning from the boys down here. Um, proud as punch. Good on you, mate. I feel like I'm going to cry. Ah, uh, I like it. I won't show you more because I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that good. No, where's yours? <laughs> Gone. You're doing nah, no, no. Uh, no, I'm only gonna embarrass myself. <laughs> so this is that nice little pipe you made up. It looks beautiful. We're just gonna test fit it, make sure the final product fits well. A little bit tight because when you stick the biggest engine you can find in the littlest chassis you can find, you're gonna have a little bit of problems with fitment. When I suggested it, I was like, I'm just going to plant that idea seed and then leave. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it could be done. Yeah. <laughs> so with our super tight clearances everywhere, <laughs> if you end up touching stuff, we're just going to have to take the rubber out of the engine mounts and make them solid. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, might rattle your teeth out a little bit, but, <laughs> but I love it. Morning, guys. Morning, Morning Justin. Today is the big day. The big I've got the final piece of the puzzle here for you. Final piece of the puzzle, uh, Megalite battery, we might talk about this a little bit later on. Game changer. Game changer. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Honestly, these things here, this is where uh, technology is going, but the final piece of the puzzle, why? What's happening today? We're going to hear this thing out. We're going to start it up today. Pedro, you confident? Yep. Yeah. It's going to be good. I'm you excited. Are? All right. Yep. So, what's the plan for today? What's left to do? I'll call and change the fuel filter, change the oil filter, um, run battery lines, done. Yep, and then make up the power lines and yeah. we're pretty much good to power go. the battery and then we're good to go. Exciting, now here's the thing today, we spoke about it last night, yep. you cannot fire this car up until your brother's here. Yep. Yeah, that is the deal. Yep. So if you get through all of this and you get it ready uh, to turn the key, do not turn the key until your brother finishes school. So yeah. obviously Christian's at school, um, Ashton's here on work experience like we've spoken about before, um, doing his trade. So his brother's been heavily involved in this, he's helped you out every single step of the way up until now. Yeah. Let's make sure that he is here for the big moment because today you're going to hear your baby's heartbeat for the first time. Yeah. I remember when I heard their heartbeat for the first time. And, you know, they got the ultrasound thing on and you hear da dum da dum da dum and then it's like it becomes real, like this thing's coming to life. This is exactly what's happening here. I think this is probably a better moment though. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. No, nah, definitely not. But it's very close. 3.30, Christian will be here. Get her ready to fire. That's the plan for today. I'll leave you guys to it. I'll pop in and out uh, throughout the day, see how you guys are going, any parts that you need, anything you need. Anything you need from me, just let me know. Yep. Yeah? Any right. running around we got to do, any bits and pieces, just go and get them and let's get this thing ready to fire. I want to be here. Yeah. Yeah? This car will be the death of me. I'll be that guy egging you on the side of the skit in the car. Yeah, you will. 
And you know what? I'll probably just do it. That's why I've got your brakes, mate. You've got brakes and a clutch. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so you've hooked up just the front brakes. Front brakes. Are we on point now? I yeah. love this man. <laughs> now I have to. Safety first. Now I have to. So we've just unbolted the fuel filter and undone all the lines. Please don't leak, please don't leak. Right, good. Um, we just need to replace the filter inside of this. If anyone doesn't know, it's kind of weird. This is the whole pump and filter assembly for a VDJ. So there's no pump in the tank. That's what gets all the fuel to the engine. So I actually didn't need to take it out of the car, but it's easy enough to take out since not really hooked up just yet, so. Ooh, yum. Yeah, see the gump in the bottom? Oh, that's lovely. And the colour of that? Wow, down some miles. That's what 120,000 k's in a mine looks like. Yeah. That actually looks really nice. That's good. So the idea oh. is you put that on there and it drains. But then you still have to undo this, which gets the rest of the oil out. So everyone just undoes the filter and lets it drain out. Yeah. I don't know what you were thinking, Toyota. <laughs> Silly gooses. The gooses, I should have bought a Nissan. Oh. Are you talking to me or the filter? I'm talking to the... Okay, just make them, just make them. Oh, bazooka pipe. Yeah, I've got a little yeah. pretend dump. Oh, we're gonna run that. That's yeah, when, we, that's when we go to the drags, yeah? Yeah. And we drag GSL down the track. Yeah, sure. In their stock cars. <laughs> I'll take it. much about those? Um, I know it looks nice and it tested as a good battery. Um, so it comes with a little QA report and Ashton is like infatuated. There's that word again. It's infatuated. With the little report. It's funny the little things yeah, though. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah, like that little mouse running around on that wheel in your brain like yep. ding, 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 ding. <laughs> You've got this amazing battery and the piece of paper. Excites Ashton the most. Um, I'll explain to him and I'll explain to you guys exactly why we're starting to use these as start batteries um, in all of our vehicles now. This is actually a lithium battery, right? So first advantage of lithium, that's nine kilos compared to an AGM battery, 35 to 40 kilos, yeah. right? So you were installing two of these. So yep. one's gonna be your start battery and one's gonna be your house battery. Yep. But you don't actually need to do that with a mega life. We're kind of going overboard on the power on this thing because we have the real estate to put two batteries in. Yep. So lithium will stay at full power, 14.4 volts until it's kind of dead flat. With a normal battery like an AGM or a gel battery, they they start losing voltage as the battery starts discharging. So, so with a normal battery, as you start uh, draining the battery and the voltage comes down, your appliances will stop working. The big advantage with lithium is they don't actually lose voltage as the battery goes flat. So your appliances will run all the way to dead flat. So to put that maybe a little bit simpler, let's say you discharge a normal battery down to about 60% capacity, the voltage is gone and your appliances don't work. With lithium, you can go all the way down to dead flat and you still got full uh, voltage. So you get a lot more life fundamentally out of the battery, yeah. right? The disadvantage with lithium is lithium doesn't have any cranking amps, so it doesn't have the power to turn over a starter motor in a car until these things have come along now. So this Megalife battery has 1,650 cranking amps, cold cranking amps. A normal battery, like even a, a really good quality battery you put in your car, you might get seven or 800 cold cranking amps. So your starter motor is probably gonna spin the flywheel off that motor. Hopefully not, right? Hopefully. But you'll hear it when it starts up. 
You've got seven cells in there that are all 10 amp hours each, right? You've got this little button here, it's a reserve cell. So fundamentally, it's running off 60 amp hours until you push this button. So here's the advantage of that. When the battery does go dead flat, right, and you're only running one battery, you can't start your car. You need to jump, right? Jumping lithium, you have to jump lithium to lithium. What these guys have come up with is, you push that button, kicks in that last cell, 10 amp hours, you start your car, turn the button back off, you start putting charge back into the whole battery. So absolutely amazing, amazing yeah. bit of kit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, and these really are, this is the way of the future. We're installing these, we've been running them in the trophy truck, so trophy truck's done a whole season with two mega life batteries under there. Um, we've tested them, they're robust. If this thing lasts all the way to Fink and back, well, I didn't make it to Fink and I didn't make it back. So if it lasts three quarters of the way to Fink and half the way back to Alice Springs, <laughs> That's not funny. Sorry. That's, Sorry. That's, I'm still hurt about that. Bad, bad example. And you've actually been running one in the Razor for a lot longer. Yeah. Check them out, Mega Life batteries. Um, they're a lot more expensive um, than the standard AGM deep cycle gel battery um, or a lead acid battery, but worth every single dollar. You generally only need one, but there's a saying that we have here. Nothing exceeds like excess. excess. Yep. What is it? Nothing exceeds like excess. Sit back and enjoy the light show. Nothing exceeds like excess. I've raised, I've raised them well. There you go. And, and say, hey, what do you say to the boys at Mega Life? Thank you. To thank the boys. Guys, thank you very much. Mega Life, that's amazing. Red is fast. So. Red is fast. Um, I don't know many kids that are rolling around. 17 year old kids that are rolling around with two of these in their truck. Yeah. I don't even have two in the black truck yet. I might steal one. Enjoy. Uh, that's cool. That's, That's so cool. cool that video. It's a bit snug. We ran out of real real estate pretty quick on this. Yeah, cool. <laughs> oh, there's probably some instruction manual that you just don't get clicking it. But. Well, then don't make it so satisfying, and then we won't have that issue. Omega Life, you've done an amazing job on that switch. Pristine. <laughs>